Right, now I'm going to show you a technique of modeling in something called metaballs. So I'm going to model in top view. And so you're going to add, and there you can see the metaballs. And I add a ball. I can move that across. And you can see each time I add something, it gets added into the world there. Add capsule. Now with metaballs, as they come together, you can see they start morphing into each other, joining into into each other. And that's the principle of modeling with metaballs. Now this capsule, it is selected. You can see the orange is that circle. To select an item, you press on the circle. If you press on the object, everything is selected. Both combinations. So to edit an individual piece you must press on the circle or you can select them over here. So I now want to rotate this form through 90 degrees. So my key for rotation is the R key and I could do it by I but I won't know quite whether I'm 90 degrees. So the easiest way to do that is undoing is to press R and then type 90 into your keys and then press enter and there we have it ro rotated through 90 degrees. So I'll carry on adding all the shapes so we can see what they look like. This is the plane shape and, and the ellipsoid shape. I'm going to pull this out this way a little bit. I want that to get a bit bigger, so I want to scale it, so S for scale, and then I pull the scaling, and the cube, it's buried at the moment, but I want to bring it up to the bottom, so there's the cube. Right, so there's all my shapes, I want to select the whole lot, so I just press anywhere, and that will select the whole time, whole lot. View, and if I go front, I now want to rotate this so it's vertical. So I select all, and then press R for rotate, and 90 degrees. Press enter. Press home so I can now see it at home in the middle. Now, while I'm working, I tend to think of this as my print level in my printer. So I always want the forms to be sitting on top of this print level. So I can now lift it up, press home, it gets it in the middle of the screen. Now you can carry on adding more metaballs or in Blend at any stage if you want to duplicate something the shortcut on the keys is the shift button so that's above control the one with the arrow on shift button and D the two together and you duplicate and that can be duplicated again One of the strengths of Blender is being able to move between different modeling techniques. So here we've been using meta Metaball, but if we go to edit mode, you'll see you haven't got that lattice work of vertices to be able to model with. But we can convert that, convert your Metaball modeling to what we call mesh modeling. Unfortunately, once you have made the, the conversion, you can't go back to Metaball modeling. So now if we go into edit mode, there you see you can, you've got all the vertices and those, as before, could be modeled however you might want. Control Z is the undo. Right. So there we have modeling with Metaballs.